A woman attacked during attempted kidnapping, and this morning, the man who did it is still out there somewhere. And that woman is fighting back, sharing her story in hopes it'll help police get results and find the man who left her, and her shaken and her face bruised right there. News 6 reporter Kirsten O'Connor is live near where this all happened along Orange Avenue and Michigan Street in Orlando. Kirsten, what do police know about the guy who did this? Bridget, that's the challenging part in the search for this guy. The victim says she wasn't really able to get a good look at him, which is not surprising considering how dark this alleyway where she says the attack happened. Now, Orlando police are looking at iris camera footage, trying to get any information they can, a car or a plate that can help lead them to her attacker. So from here on out, it's going to have to be a getting a ride home from a co-worker situation. Danny Herboso is bravely telling her story after fighting off an attacker who hasn't been caught. I, I'm home. I, I got away from him. He was like what, trying to put me in a car. What's the address where you are right now? She tells us Monday night she was walking home from the Shell gas station on Orange Avenue in a dimly lit alleyway when a man grabbed her from behind and punched her in the face. He was still holding on to my jacket, which is probably the reason why I didn't go to the ground, uh, which is, I'm thankful for that now because had I fallen to the ground, it would have been probably a lot worse. I might not even be here right now. She says she started kicking and fighting for her life. Adrenaline, everything, survival mode kicked in, and I just started like pushing him away, kicking. I was moving my body like crazy. She says when she broke free and made it home, she posted this picture to Facebook as a warning. I'm glad that I'm alive and I'm here to tell you guys the story and to warn people, but you know, I mean, not everybody survives these things sometimes. Herboso describes her attacker as a slim black man wearing a black sweatshirt and a beanie. She also said that he tried pulling her into a car described as a black four-door sedan. If you have any information about this attack, you're urged to call Orlando Police or Crime Line right away. Bridget. Kirsten, thanks.